came from humble beginnings. How it stands from case of Santosh Yadav? She came from humble beginnings. Uh, even though her parents were affluent landowners, they had not sent her to a city <laughs> school, but in a local village school. Mm -hmm. She did not uh, mind it until they forced her to uh, marry, uh, to which she refused and, and threatened them that she would never marry if uh, she did not get proper education. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, she moved to college and uh, saw uh, mount uh, mountaineers climbing a ravelly hills which motivated her to join the same mm -hmm. uh, after that she never looked back mm -hmm. uh, she worked hard day and night uh, sharpening her skills uh, mm -hmm. uh, she became physically stronger mentally tough and had mm -hmm. iron will and eventually uh, her name is engraved in the annals of mountain okay. she scaled the she scaled the mount everest twice and is a uh, inspiration for all the young girls in India. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. That she is an inspiration for all the girls. If I talk about what is the message of this, of this story of Santosh Yadav, what is the message that the writer wants to deliver through this story? That one should not stop until uh, one could reach huh. the top. One should the not stop one until one could reach at the top or you can say set your eyes on stars ultimately only then you will be able to reach your goal or sometimes it is not like that you can say you set your goals but you are not focused at that time when you are not focused at that time you are not able to get your you can say uh, you are not able to get your you can say goals you are not able to achieve what you have desired okay right so that is not moreover Apart from this, the writer, he is also trying to bring into light the reality that the kind of discrimination that is often, you can say, that is often, you can say, much vulnerable to that of girls. That girls, uh, or this kind of discrimination is, of course, rampant in our society. That boys and girls, they are always discriminated. Okay? Isn't it? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so boys and girls, they are often discriminated in our society. But then what happened? Okay, uh, then what happens? It is only one who has the will to stand against the odds of the society. It is only that person who will stand against the odds of society will be able to ultimately come out of it. Okay, out of, out of those shackles of society. It is not like that if you are prone or to the, you can say, uh, the dogmas of society that you will ultimately follow what is prevalent in the society. Yes, only those people who are determined, only those people who are firm in their decisions, only those people who know the rational way to achieve it, only they will be able to break or to, you can say, to change the course of society. And they are come out with different ways. Fine? Okay? So, message uh, success. is very strong. Ma'am, that success is not innate. It has to be achieved with hard work and toil over time. Yes, means it can be achieved over a, you can say over, it's not, it's, you can say it's your persistent consistency of efforts that will ultimately bring about, you can say, success. Fine? Okay. So this is all about Santosh Yadav. Okay. So now I don't think so any, you can say, uh, any doubt in that? <laughs> no, ma'am. Now, if I ask you a question, how did Santosh carve out her own destiny? How she was able to carve out her own destiny? Or how she was able to make her own destiny? From the beginning, she, she, was quite, hmm. she was quite determined that if she chose a correct or rational path, the hmm. others uh, around her had to change, not her. Hmm. She always wished to study and uh, this eventually led to her dream. Hmm. When she... Uh, the mountainers uh, uh, climbing the Aravli hills mm -hmm. she she thought to uh, shyly ask them and uh, they answered in affirmative which motivated motivated her to uh, take to climbing mm -hmm. then santosh went on an expedition every year which eventually uh, matured her skills rapidly she developed a remarkable resistance to cold and attitude mm -hmm. iron will endurance and mental toughness characterized Santosh Yadav. Hmm. So, what my suggestion to you is that, that when you are going to write, she has carved out her own destiny. How she was able to carve out her own destiny? That you will start right from the beginning, where she was born. She was born in a conservative family. 
where first, first of all the birth of the child was not considered birth of a girl child was not considered so auspicious later on what happened later on what happened that she was given uh, she was given the traditional uh, way of life to live okay she is going to the you can say traditional village school only but she is the one who is who remembers the rational past she knew that where where, where her you can say dreams will lead her to but and she was of course confident about her dreams too this is the reason why she was thinking that she was thinking that she should not you can say undergo with the you can say rituals of the society she first of all you can say she was the first one to take the, a step ahead of the traditional clothes okay she started wearing short skirts but in that only it is not like that that if she is following a different path then she was turned out to be you can say uh, you can say she was pinpointed in the society it's not like that okay now afterwards when she was given only village education she demanded for higher education though her parents were also you can say telling her again and again that she should know according to the ritual of the you can say uh, according to the tradition of the family they should study in the village school she started rebelling against it and moreover when at the age of 16 when she was forced to get married okay she was not ready to marry at that time what she thought that she thought that no she should you can say she should come out of those you can say dogmas of society the set beliefs of society and she should carve her own path and when her parents she she enrolled herself in delhi school okay in this manner you will manage the content right from the beginning she managed to get herself admitted in the uh, in delhi school and there what she was doing there what she was doing you know that uh, parents were not ready to pay for for her fee and then what happened she was against again them okay then what she said she arranged she said that she would do part time job in order to uh, arrange her fee then parents have to submit they have to surrender okay she was quite courageous then later on after the exam she has taken her own decision okay to get admission in uttarakashi institute of mountaineering and there she got admission okay in uttarakashi institute of mountaineering there she got admission and after that there was no looking back since then she was climbing mountains and once she climbed in 1992 and finally then she climbed uh, she got an opportunity from the indo nepalese expedition in order to join them for climbing mount everest the second time and finally when she has done or she has um, she has let her name written in the golden words in the history of mountaineering she was you can say of course given a great award that is padma shri it means that she was not born with that you can say kind of destiny that she has made for herself she has made her own destiny and it is just because of why that is just because of her will to achieve whatever is impossible she believed in herself and finally she was able to achieve it okay so and one more thing that how can you say that along with a good mountaineer she was a good human being also hmm her uh, her caring nature how she cared uh, uh, for her fellow uh, climbers Uh, the instant the instance uh, where she shared her oxygen with mohan singh to save his life okay. moreover uh, she was a fervent environmentalist mm. means she, she had a connection yes, she tried to collect you can say uh, that uh, she collect and she tried to collect you can say 500 kilograms of wastage from mount tem or mount everest while returning back she tried to save the life of fellow climbers you will cite here the example of mohan singh and the other one whose life she was not able to save and later on then you can also mention that her you can see seniors as well as you can say her fellow mountain mountaineers they were also impressed of her iron will of her physical endurance of her strength and her readiness to share things with others so this is what exactly she took a special place yes okay. she took a special place in the hearts of fellow climbers yes okay fine right okay so in this manner you will be able to write so one more you can say class we will devote towards discussion of some extra questions in this manner for maria sharapova in the next class okay so now uh, it's going to be over so have a nice day to you all if you have any doubt you can ask me it's 20 sir so now the class is going to be